Today I will explain to you the poem Sketch by Christina Rossetti. This is a part of the alternative English course for BA fourth semester. A sketch here means a character sketch or a character portrayal of one man by the name of Charles Cayley, who happened to be one of the admirers of the poetess. He had proposed marriage to her but was rejected. The mood of the poem is one of affectionate banter. She was fond of him, no doubt, but not enough to accept his proposal as the two of them were too different from each other. The poem was written in a light, airy spirit touched with humor. She began the poem by calling him the blindest buzzard. A buzzard is a flesh-eating bird with a dark color found in Europe. Charles Cayley was compared to this animal, not a very flattering comparison. Not only that, he was called the blindest buzzard. Charles Cayley was not only sh short-sighted but was blind to other things like decorum, subtle feelings and sensibilities. He does not wear to spread and stir. In other words, he was not much bothered about his appearance and the clothes that he wore. To spread and stir means to try to impress others. The other animal imagery with which he was compared to was a mole, M-O-L-E. A mole is a small animal, usually dark colored, which ducks a hole under the ground and lives there. Charles Cayley also wore a tailcoat, as was the fashion of those days. He was a man with men, and his quill is cut to a pen. In the professional world of men, he was adept and efficient. He also appeared to be a writer. His quill is cut to a pen. Too busy and engrossed in the world of business and men, he was like a mole or a buzzard beyond scope of speech. There was no possibility of having a meaningful conversation or talk with him. It's impossible to have a clear communication with him. In the words of the poetess herself, he was beyond scope of speech. He sees not what's within his reach, misreads the part, ignores the whole. He fails to pay attention to the details. He also could not interpret things correctly. He misreads the part, so reads in vain. Ignores the whole, no patent plane. Patent plane means very clear. Even though she does not hide anything from him and showed him facts as plain as day, he was not able to see them. He would just absent mindedly say where, what, and turn away. Thus, the poem gave us a humorous character sketch of a man by the name of Charles Cayley.